20. The decomposition of acetylaldehyde is a second order reaction with a rate constant of 4.71 times 10 to the negative eighth liter per mole per second. What is the instantaneous rate of the decomposition of acetylaldehyde in a solution with a concentration of 5.50 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity? Okay. So we're talking about decomposition, right? And they say that this is second order and they give us a rate constant. Now, if they give us the rate constant, right? And they're looking for an instantaneous rate. The first equation that comes to my mind is the general rate law because a general rate law can be made specific for the specific question that's at hand. Now the general rate formula is this one right here. Rate equals K times the reactants raised to their orders. Now, generally, if we're talking about reactants and products, right, we should have a balanced equation, but they didn't give me one. But maybe we could come up with something that's general, right? because mainly they didn't even tell us what the composition of acetylaldehyde is. But the only thing that we know is that the acetylaldehyde is decomposing, right? Decomposition. That means that we should go back to what the general form of what a, what a decomp a formula is. So for any time that we're, we're dealing with decomposition, right? Decomposition, it just means that you're breaking something down. So bread <laughs> breaking down your uh, reactant. So in this case, a general decomp is when you have one, um, you have one, let's color it in. Let's make it beautiful. You have one reactant on the left side and this decomposes into two, could be three, could be four, but the idea it's not, it's not a one to one. So you're decomposing your one substance into possibly two things, maybe three things, maybe four things, depending on what it is. But the idea here is that you're always starting with one reactant. And the reactant here is the acetylaldehyde. So in this general form, we only have one reactant. Doesn't really matter what specifically uh, the chemical composition of the acetylaldehyde is. We know that the reactant is the acetylaldehyde. So let's maybe see if we could write a, a more specific rate law. The rate would be equal to the rate constant times by that reactant. You only have the one reactant, so this has to be just acetyl. So acetaldehyde. Beautiful. Let's call it, let's close that up. And whatever the reactant is, it's raised to its order. And they told us that this is a second order reaction. So second means number two. So this is going to be raised to the second. Now we have a pretty specific equation for our needs. Let's see if we can find out the, the question, right? We wanted to know what that instantaneous rate was. Instantaneous just means that it's a rate at one specific point in time. But if we look at the rate law formula, there's no variable for T. So it doesn't really matter what that time is, right? So we're looking for the rate value. That means that we should know the rate constant and we should know the concentration. Now they did give us a rate constant. They did say that that K value is 4.71 times 10 to the negative eighth. And now it looks like they have these like negative one, negative one units, right? Just know that anything that's raised to the negative one is really in the denominator. So this could be written as liter mole to the negative one second to the negative one. But just know that anything that has the negative one is really in the, in the denominator. So this would be liters per mole. And then seconds is also in the, uh, the denominator as well. And remember that molarity is mole over liter. So it looks like we're just swapping those units. Instead of mole over liter, it's liter over mole. So this is the same as one over molarity times the seconds. And then if you wanted to write this in terms of 
your negative one uh, units, you could just say that this is molarity to the negative one, seconds to the negative one. All of these units are identical. So that's why they can make, you know, that's how they would try to make uh, you crazy, right? By giving you different units for the rate constant, but they're all the same. I'm just trying to show you here that they could give you, you know, any one of these four units and they're all the same. Just focus in on the number value here. So we have that. They did give us that concentration. So the acetylaldehyde concentration is 5.5, 5 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. So let's find out that rate. Rate equals the K value, which was 4.71 times 10 to the negative eighth. And then we're just gonna multiply it by the molarity, which is the 5.5, Five times 10 to the negative fourth. And now according to that rate law, that concentration of acetylaldehyde has to be raised to the second because it was second order. So we're gonna take that 5.55 times 10 to the negative fourth and square it. Now we have everything ready to go. We could plug it into good old Calci. So let's go. We could actually plug this in in, in one shot in the calculator. Um, or, you know, if you want to, you can find out what 5.55 times 10 to the negative fourth squared is and then times it by this value. But either way, just as long as you input it into the calculator correctly, uh, you will get the same answer. So let's go for it. So we got 4.71 second comma. That means EE. So second comma EE times 10 to the. So 4.71 times 10 to the negative eighth. And then now I'm going to say times. Now I'm, I'm going to square that. So I'm going to put the next scientific notation value in uh, parentheses. Uh, you could also not use parentheses. I think this calculator will understand if you just raise it, but I just want to make sure. So I'm going to say 5.55 second comma times 10 to the negative fourth. Close the parentheses, and then I'm going to square it. So... We're just going to bring it down. Everything looks good to me. 4.71. Okay, 5.55. Everything looks good. Press enter. Bada bing, bada boom. There's the rate. So the instantaneous rate is, I guess, three sig figs. So 1.45 times 10 to the negative 14th. And a rate value in general is always going to be a measure of a molarity over a certain amount of time. So in this case, they gave us molarity, they gave us the time in seconds. So the rate is gonna be molarity over seconds. And that is the final answer. Ooh, yeah, right? So a rate is just a change in concentration over a change in time. Um, in this case, concentration is molarity. So molarity over the certain time. Always look for the rate constant to see what time we're dealing with. Maybe we're in years, maybe we're in days. But in this case, the rate constant was in seconds, so we put it molarity over second. And that's the answer. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for coming to the video and watching these. And I love hearing all your guys' comments about how this channel is helping you out in your classes. So that's so awesome. Keep up the awesome, awesome work. You guys are working so hard. Keep with the videos. Um, and yeah, proud of you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. I'm always rooting for you. And I will talk to you soon, okay? All right, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.